Welcome back to another edition of my shorts right here at the ranch here. Smoking me what passes for a fucking lucky strike. Damn thing's burning out constantly. Sorting the world's problems out right before I'm feeding mama dinner. Well, it's been one of those days, man. Dishes, chores, laundry, mom's shower, my shower, all the business, you know. Everybody's had a shower. All right. At least the snow's melting, and I can actually tolerate being outside right now. But I shared a news story on my community post thingy uh, about Illinois gun owners and how J.B. Pricksker, right? Mr. I suck pricks myself, gur, right? That motherfucker, the fat bastard who sticks the linoleum when he's got... Maybe I should fix him and my sister up. I can make some fucking ugly children together, and she'd be in a communist hellhole far away from me. Hmm. Write down in the comments if you think I should get them get the freaking on. I don't know. I digress. <laughs> Fucking flakes. Can't rent without a damn cigarette running, and mine's being an uncooperative fuckface right now. I digress. <clears throat> we don't edit here at the Eat My Shorts Network. Uh, just because we lack all the lusters, and quite frankly, we just can't be asked. See... This is a real raw and uncut. Uh, what you see is what you get. Sometimes in the morning when I'm having an epic coughing fit, I'll remember to hit the pause button. That's about it. Or like when the neighbors come walking through the yard, I'll pause and then my thought train will derail. But since we're on the thought train derailment, uh, why haven't all the Illinois gun owners registered their quote-unquote assault weapons? Well... In a state with massive compliance like Illinois, mind you, this is a state where you need a FOID card, okay? That means you have to tell the government what you have, and they approve it and put it on a little piece of card that you put in your fucking wallet. And you pay a fee to do this, you already have de facto registration in the Chirac area, yo. So they know what you got, okay? It ain't just like on the 4473 where they have to go hunting for it. This is self-registration brought on by shitty laws and tyrannical government dating back to the Tammany Hall era in New York. Like, they've been doing it there that long. <clears throat> so here's Delio. Less than 1% of registered Illinois gun owners have registered their assault weapons, okay? In a massive state like Illinois... With as many hunters and sportsmen as there are there, like Rockford Ordnance, friend of the channel, cool guy, check him out. Great guy if you want to talk AKs and whatever else, fun life experiences, highly recommend it. He's from there. He used to be a cop back in the days of, uh, you know, uh, back when men wore porno mustaches and carried revolvers, dude. These people are hardy from the Midwest, and they don't take bullshit from the government. Well, they'll put up with enough until they get tired of it. You know, he always tells a fun story in his live stream. If you ever ask him about being a cop, it's actually one of my favorites he tells about why people didn't fight the cops back in the day, uh, especially in the Illinois area, is because they had this set of marble steps to the fucking courthouse there going down to the jail, and if you were kind of rude to the cop or gave him a hard time or tried to fight with him, you would fall down the stairs a few times before you got to your holding cell. And it's very tragic that a lot of young men and women felt that way. You know, because they didn't know manners, right? Because they were just couldn't get their feet dry when they were coming in out of the cold. I don't know how it happened, but, you know, that attitude of, I am an adult, I will do as I please, and you will leave me alone, and I'll leave you as you please, has all gone the way of the dodo, right? That high watermark, that tippity top of the crest, you know, that, that, that high just watermark of... American dreams and values has just died, right? And we're left in a post-freedom society where daddy and mommy Gubermint think that they have the divine fucking right to tell you what you are and are not going to have in your own home to do with as you see fit. Now, see, you realize this? Yeah, I know, fucking noisy train noises. We'll get over it. Thought tearing derailment. There's your word of the day for the comment section. 
the government doesn't serialize sex toys, right? But people are brutally raped and murdered every day with sex toys. It does happen. Now, it's not as common as you might think, but people die accidentally from sticking things in their butthole, too, that they're not supposed to. Right? I brought up the point about the guy in Scotland who got a big old live mortar shell stuck in his butthole, and they had to get the bomb squad to get this thing out. People are fucking freaky, bro. They do some nasty shit. I ain't that kind of freaky here. But I, don't, I don't care if you are, as long as you leave me the fuck out of it. You know, they don't register kitchen knives. You know, uh, though in England they do. You know, uh, they don't register bayonets. They don't register baseball bats. They don't register fucking... I don't know. Uh, letter openers, uh, paperweights, hammers, I any form of tool in your toolbox. Before 1968, a firearm was actually considered a tool. I know, I know it's a shocking thing, right? Firearms are tools. Well, they're tools to commit violence, right? What is a firearm, if you really think about it? It is a cordless hole puncher. That means I want to poke a hole in that thing over there that is annoying me, but I don't really want to get out of my chair to do this. Hmm. How am I going to do this? Well, bow and arrow's a pain in the ass. Doable, but it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I don't want as much effort as that. Well, people went to the firearm, okay? That's how it works. They weren't even serialized pre-1968. Bet you didn't know that. Well, they didn't have to be. So a lot of companies did it anyway for record-keeping, for warranty use. But Illinois, man, they think that somehow they're making the world a safer place by taking away all these fucking firearms from people. Or that making you a criminal for having it. Let me, let me put it to you this way. I've known a lot of criminals in my life, and I was a criminal, okay? <laughs> let's, let's just be blunt about it. I was a bad, bad person. I did terrible fucking things for money, and some of which I did because I thoroughly enjoyed myself. <laughs> I'm not even fucking sorry about most all of it. <laughs> and I don't ever see a day where people like me the way I used to be, or even the way I am now, standing out in front of the courthouse or the sheriff's office saying, here, here's my equipment. Please take the number down on this and put me on your fucking government list. I'm sure nothing bad will come of this. Yeah, I know, I find this too fucking funny. This is the way fucking people think. Like, no, the government's here to take care of me. Oh, they'll take care of you, all right. <laughs> they'll load your ass up in a slow train to goddamn fucking Warsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the next they'll tell you it's just a delousing shower. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm not going to say there's going to be nice hot soapy water spraying out of that fucking nozzle either. <laughs> It'll probably be gas, dude. <laughs> yeah. If we're going to delouse you now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the way it works, man. They, they want to know who the dangerous people are that have all the cool toys, right? See, they already banned all the fun shit back in 86 when Rotten Ronnie... You know, may that cocksucker rest in piss. Uh, he did what he did and banned machine guns the rest of the way. They were kind of already on the naughty list before. <clears throat> in Illinois, by the way, they, they don't have any NFA stamps there. Like, if you have an NFA object in Illinois, you're immediately de facto a felon, dude. <clears throat> like, they don't allow suppressors. They don't allow short barrel rifles, short barrel shotguns, none of that shit. So if they've already made it a criminal offense for you to have all the things that they're redefining, what, what incentive do you have to comply? Right? I mean, it's like terribly tactical, right? He's on every Sunday, and he's usually posting cool shit throughout the week. I, I'm sure he listens in sometimes or is hanging around, and I know uh, Scales and Ape and uh, Wind Model 88 and all the dudes, you know. They hang around eventually. You know, what the fuck do you guys think about this shit, yo? A am I just way out of bounds here? Thinking that, you know, people should line up and, and take all their toys to be registered like the government wants or, or like, become ungovernable like I think? Because <sighs> last I checked, you know, the reason the cops don't go kicking in the doors in the bad neighborhoods like in the old barrio that I grew up in is because they're going to get fucking murdered eventually. If they go just do a random sweep and clear type of thing, eventually they're going to start taking casualties. Now, imagine doing that to every law-abiding country 
fucking corn-fed motherfucker in the Midwest. To try going door-to-door -door in the fucking cheese belt and taking away somebody's, you know, AK rifle or their SKS or their M1 Grand or their AR-15 or whatever after they had about six beers in them and got nothing better to do with their evening time. Because <clears throat> I'm willing to tell you, man, like, just in sheer numbers, 99 out of 100 people said fuck you to the government in Illinois. And, and they've been putting up with gun control and bullshit for a long time now. And they're tired of it. I love how the governor of Illinois, J.B. Pricksucker, he, uh, he said, well, I'm sure Illinoisians will find their time to register their stuff. I'm pretty sure they've had time. It's been about a year now. Uh, the deadline's up in January, and, you know, less than 1% of the people have done it. Which, honestly, I thought it was going to be about 10%. I'm just cynical that way. And I've been watching the story in real time, man, but, like, they're, they're crying, only 4,000 people have done it. I'm here to tell you, dude, if you're, if you're going to one of those guys that's going to bury your guns for later, don't even bother, dude. Just, just go fucking trade them in and give somebody a good deal on it who's actually going to fight for your goddamn rights. If you're one of those people that's going to go, oh, well, I had a boating accident. Motherfucker, if you had a boating accident, you didn't drown, you ain't doing it right. We don't believe in boating accidents here at the Eat My Shorts Network. You know, if, if you're one of them people that's like, well, I'm going to put it away and save it for a rainy day, and then when the government comes to take it away, you know, I'm going to run away. I don't even want you on my fucking side, yo. Like, if you're not ready to sling up and sack up and be a freedom-minded party animal, then what the fuck are you doing with your life? What makes your tomorrow that much more special than mine is? What do you have to look forward to the rest of your life? If your kids and your grandkids... And every future generation is going to be oppressed and fucking enslaved because you are a coward. Then you don't deserve the glory that being a freedom-minded party animal ensues. As a cigarette burns my fingers and I need to go blow my nose because it's, you know, leafy and autumn out here. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. And if not, I don't really care. I'm going to keep cussing at the internet long after uh, you quit listening, probably. <laughs> and as always, take care, God bless, have a wonderful day, and uh, the state of Illinois, man, your leadership can eat my fucking shorts, dude. Like, shame. <laughs>